John Madigan, welcome back to the program. Uh, this morning you have a forum of sorts on in Melbourne. Tell us what's it about and what will you be telling people there? Uh, the forum today in Melbourne is about um, my bill, which is um, the Medicare funding for uh, gender-selected abortion. And um, the fact of the matter is that since I put the bill up uh, in the Senate and it went to committee, uh, there has been over 1,100 public submissions both for and against my bill. The point that I'd like to make here is that this is a, a very high number of submissions to any bill, but the committee who um, took the submissions on the bill uh, chose not to have not one public hearing on my bill. The fact of the matter is that there are bills that have come before different committees of parliament over many years of the um, committee system that have received far less submissions than what this bill has received, both for and against, and yet they've had one, two, three and more public hearings to those different bills, and rightfully so. But in their haste to shut this down, not to have a debate, there was not one public hearing offered on this bill to members of the public. So how would you like to see abortion laws in this country changed? Well, look, at the moment I became aware of this abhorrent practice of um, gender abortion, gender um, procured abortion, and the fact that um, the majority of these abortions that are procured or performed are uh, to girls. Now, and I find that an abhorrent process that, you know, children are like uh, being treated like an accessory or a handbag. Now, um, I challenge any person next uh, week in Parliament, I'm hosting a, uh, a film called It's a Girl, and um, I ch challenge any person to go to that film and come out of there and say that um, they believe in gender procured abortion. Do we know that gender procured abortions are going on in this country though? Do you have evidence to back the suggestion that that is actually happening? Well, look, I've had, um, I, I do believe they are going on. I mean, uh, I, uh, just only in the past couple of months has um, several bodies of the world, uh, the UN come out and spoken about um, the effects of gender imbalance because of gender uh, selected abortion. And um, it is a problem overseas. There is no reason to say that it's not a problem here now or it won't be in the future. I would, th would have thought that people who um, speak about women's rights would be appalled at a child life being terminated because they happen to be a girl or a boy. What do you think of the Prime Minister's statement on Tuesday that after the September election abortion could become the plaything of men who think they know better? Well, you know, abortion is a very uh, serious topic and I don't think that the Prime Minister has done uh, this issue any justice in the way in which she has brought it up. Now, we have a situation now where, as a friend of mine put it to me the other day when uh, the Prime Minister announced, uh, I think it was what, Women for Gillard, uh, the fact that it seems now that unless you vote for uh, Julia Gillard, uh, that you're anti-women. Now, the whole state of our uh, politics has degenerated into um, personal attacks on people, um, you know, caricatures uh, on Tony Abbott. Tony Abbott's a misogynist. Um, Julia Gillard's a witch and a liar. Well, you know, I plead with people, play the issue and not the person. You are pretty clearly you know, in the Prime Minister's eyes, though, a man who thinks he knows better, aren't you? Well, you know, um, the fact of the matter is, as last time I looked, we were supposed to live in a democracy. And um, people who want to shut people down by um, 
denigrating them or denigrating their views, I believe, are a threat to democracy. If you hold Every the balance of power in the Senate after September's election, what would be the main things that you would ask of a federal government in return for you supporting their agenda, Senator? Well, look, uh, I, I can't say that I'm going to support any government's agenda, inverted commas. Each and every piece of legislation that comes before the Senate um, must be viewed, looked over, must be appraised, and that's the job of the Senate, to be a house of review. The uh, government is formed in the House of Representatives, and no matter who has got the balance of power, Having the balance of power is not a licence to bludgeon the nation. Now, you know, people are claiming that uh, if I, as the DLP Senator of Victoria, um, is to hold the balance of power on behalf of the DLP, that we will bludgeon the nation. Well, I, all I can assure people of is, and they can go to the bank on this one, mortgage your home, the DLP, and I being the DLP senator at this point in time, am not into bludgeoning anybody. OK, now, so you won't, you won't bludgeon uh, the major parties, but surely no. you'll go to the Senate with objectives and things yeah. you would like to well, achieve. So what well, would you like to achieve? Well, the first thing is, let me assure you, I will never vote for a guillotining of debate. That's the first thing. And both major parties, when they've had... Um, control of the Senate have guillotined debate. Now that, that's an historical fact and a fact to this day. If we want to talk about bludgeoning of a government, we've only got to look to see what the Greens have done to the ALP. And I personally lament the state of federal politics today and the state of the two main players being the Coalition and the ALP and where the once great ALP of Curtin, Chifley and Scullin is just a gutted shell, and the, the Liberal Party of Sir Robert Menzies seems to be no longer, or the National Party of Blackjack McEwen is no longer. So, now, so tell, tell me, Senator, would you uh, try to achieve, in another Senate term beyond the next election, would you try to achieve the changes that you're now seeking with regard to Medicare and abortions? On gender-selected abortion, that is the bill that I have before the Senate at the current time. Now, you know, that's what we're talking about at this present time. The funding of abortions procured on the basis of the gender of the child. Now, my public position and that of the DLP is unwavering and will be. We are opposed to abortion. But you can legislate for anything in this country or in the world for that matter. But unless you win the hearts and minds of people with the truth, you can't change anything. My goal is to win hearts and minds. And along with um, the serious issue of abortion and the effect that it has on the community, you know, I'm concerned about manufacturing and farming, food security, water, power generation, people being able to own their own home. Senator Jean Pete. Madigan, we're, we're very grateful for you coming in and discussing these things today. Thank you for your time. No worries. Thanks for the opportunity.